Welcome everyone to another episode of the Pierce Brothers. I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at my top five EDC fixed blades for under 150. Um, in the knife world it's really easy to spend way more than 150 bucks on a knife and it's really hard to find a knife for under 150 that is a good quality knife. So the purpose of this video is to help you find an affordable knife that's going to be a great high quality knife that you can carry every day and use and abuse and not have to worry about it breaking down on you. Now, um, we are gonna be giving away a couple of the knives um, from this video, so watch till the end so you can see uh, the details on how to enter that giveaway. Um, so to start off, we've got, uh, coming in at number five is the Spartan Blades Alala. I have no idea if I'm saying that right because I don't speak whatever language that is. Um, but uh, this knife is made of 1095 CV. It's a nice thick knife, which is great. I prefer a nice thick knife. It's got green micarta scales on there. Um, it's got a kydex sheath, and uh, it comes factory or standard with this uh, horizontal belt loop carry. So you can kind of loop that around your belt, carry it horizontally. The sheath does have a click retention, so there's this little button up top that you would use your thumb to push and release um, and that lock goes right over that thumb ramp. So that knife you can carry it upside down, it's not going to fall out on you, it's got a really good locking mechanism there. So again, great knife for the money, um, I paid 75 bucks for it locally at a local sporting goods store. Um, I think that's about what they go for locally online, you might spend a little bit more than that uh, unless you get them on sale. So again, I'm a sale guy so I always watch for sales because I really don't like paying full price for anything. So most of these knives you'll be able to find on sale. I like to buy from Midway USA um, online. They do sales almost monthly on all of their knives, so you can get really good deals on their knives there. Um, that brings us to number four. That is going to be the K-Bar Becker uh, BK18. So the reason this comes in at number four, not higher on the list, well, first of all, price point is great. Uh, less than 100 bucks. Or right around 100 bucks new. I think Sportsman's has these for like 119.99, but I paid 85.99. So again, shop local, found it on sale. Um, it has a longer blade, which is a little more difficult to EDC. But uh, on these longer blades, this one comes in at five inches. Typically, I like about a four-inch blade. Um, the sheath has really good positive click retention, not going anywhere. But on a longer blade, I carry them on my left side, just inside the waistband, um, and I'll clip it right on my belt. Um, and I position it right in front of my hip. Um, and then, of course, pull your shirt down over it. It's comfortable, easy to carry, makes for an easy cross draw when you need it. Um, but you can sit long periods of time, that knife's not gonna be uncomfortable. So again, position it right in front of your hip. So it's kind of in the front, kind of on the side. Um, let's see, where would that be? Right around the 9 to 10 o'clock position on your left side. Um, so yeah, great option, great knife, great knife for the money. Uh, K-Bar makes really awesome knives. Of course, they got their classic K-Bar uh, USMC knife that's very popular. Um, that's a little big for an EDC, but this version is uh, right up there as far as a great EDC option. Um, now number three, this is kind of a hard choice um, because there's a lot of great knives out there, but this one I had to make the list and it makes the list fairly high because, well, it's extremely affordable, it's readily available, and if it's good enough for John Wick, it's good enough for you. So in John Wick chapter two, when he has his fight on the train with a fellow bounty hunter that's trying to kill him because of the bounty on his head, the guy's trying to use this uh, Cold Steel Counter-Attack 2. Um, I think this is the Counter-Attack 1, so this is the 5 inch blade version. Uh, we have a Counter-Attack 2 here unopened, but that's a slightly smaller version. Um, but these things, the full size version comes in at um, less than 50 bucks. And if you get them on sale, I paid 30 bucks for this thing off Midway USA. Um, super outrageously affordable knife. Um, Easy to carry, it's got a great sheath with a good click retention. They call these their Secure X sheaths from Cold Steel. Um, yeah, great affordable knife. I had to make the list because of how affordable it is and how, well, great of a knife it is. 
And again, like I said, if it's good enough for John Wick, it's good enough for you. So great defensive knife. Um, typically when I carry a fixed blade, it is for defensive purposes. So I carry a folder just as a utility knife. It doesn't mean all of these fixed blades couldn't be a utility knife. It's just when you pull out a big old fixed blade to open a package, people tend to not feel so comfortable around you. So um, anyways, that'll bring us into number two. So number two is... I've had this knife for a while. MSRP on it is $139.99. It is the Cobra Tech Kingpin. Um, I paid $89.99 at a local store for this. So if you shop local, you're going to find it for less than $100. Um, this is a great option as an EDC knife. I really love this knife a lot. It actually made my top five overall EDC knives uh, for fixed blades because of its price point. It's made out of D2 steel, which isn't uh, not a bad steel. It's been a very popular steel for a long time. Of course, nowadays there's some more modern, better steels out there, but you're gonna pay a premium for those. And uh, this D2 holds up really well. It's pretty tough. Um, you got some green G10 scales on there. Um, the Kydex sheath that comes with a nice pocket clip. Um, this clip isn't going to be as secure as one of these other clips that I typically put on there like I have on the K-Bar here. I'll throw a link to these down in the description. I get them off Amazon. They're extremely affordable as an EDC clip. And the way I usually carry a regular size knife, this K-Bar is a little big but you can still do it, is appendix carry for a reverse grip draw. Um, again, that clip is a huge addition to any EDC knife. I just, I left this one on the Kingpin because it's pretty sufficient for what it is. A nice belt clip. Um, you can also carry that one inside the waistband. It does a great job there. Um, but that knife is really great. It's got a great guard on it all the way through. So you get a really good locked in grip on it. You can reverse grip it. You can forward grip it. Um, really great knife. Now, coming in at number one, a lot of guys are probably going to say, oh, that's no way, that's a $150 knife. Well, I tell you, I paid $110 for this from a local store again. So shop local. I hugely support that. But Midway also had these on sale for $128 the other day. So again, you know, shop sales, shop local, and you can get a higher quality knife for under $150. I think MSRP on this is around $200. But again, if you shop locally, you're going to find it for a lot less than that. And especially if you find it on sale, it'll be well under 150 bucks. And that is the SOG Pentagon FX uh, Covert. This is the Covert version. They have a, the regular Pentagon FX, which is a little bit longer. Um, they also have a folding series of these blades. But uh, it's a double-edged blade. It has some uh, nice plastic grips on there, so nothing real fancy. But it has real good grip. The sheath is amazing on this as well. It comes with a great factory clip right out of the box. Um, good retention. I've got a ED, or a, yeah, an EDC Tier 1 concealed wedge on here that helps to uh, push the handle of that blade, especially when you're appendix carrying it right back into your body. Keeps it nice and less um, visible, still gives you a good easy access to it for a draw. Um, you can use that in forward grip again or reverse grip. Great knife. I um, actually really, really like this knife a lot. I think for the money you're getting an amazing knife. Um, it's made out of CPM S35 VN steel, which is a great American made steel. Um, the highest quality steel I think out of all the knives here on the table is this guy. That's why it's typical price point or MSRP is a little higher, but again, shop local, shop sales. You'll find it for a lot cheaper than MSRP, and you'll be able to get it for under that $150 price point. Um, now, an honorable mention we have today is the Cold Steel Warcraft. This is specifically the Sanmai 3 version. Um, again, great Tonto shaped knife. This is the smallest version. They do this knife in three different lengths. Um, this is the five and a half inch version. They also do a seven and a half, or a, yeah, seven and a half inch, and a uh, six inch. I don't remember. Anyways, five and a half inch is a great option for an EDC blade. MSRP on this is a little higher, but I paid. I got it from Midway on a big sale for like ninety five bucks. 
So if you shop, you can get that. They also have the 416 stainless steel version of this, which is a lot cheaper version. Um, I definitely recommend getting the Sanmai 3 version. It's much better steel and the grip is much better on it. Um, but that's another great option. Again, a larger knife, so I'd carry this on the left hand side, just in front of the hip. Um, and that's truly a good battle knife right there. Really great knife. Um, so thanks for watching today. Check, um, so for the giveaway, we're giving away the Spartan Alala, number five on the list, and then the Counter-Tac 2, which is the smaller version of the Counter-Tac 1. So again, two different sizes of this knife that made number three on the list. We're giving away the smaller version, which is a great EDC subcompact knife. Um, go hit the link down below in the description to Joe's, Average Joe's Instagram, and you'll see a post come up on there very shortly that will have all the details for the giveaway. Um, but again, thank you for watching. Go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to see you next time. And uh, stay tuned, we've got lots of good videos planned. I have uh, another top five overall fixed blade knife video that I did a few months back. I'll have the link to that in the description, so make sure and go watch that. Um, I'll have a new version of that video coming out sometime this fall. It'll be with all the new knives that have come out in 2024 because there have been a lot. And uh, we'll do a top 10 version of that. So it's gonna include some of these knives from the cheaper end, as well as some knives from the higher end. So stay tuned for that, and uh, thank you for watching this episode of the Pierce Brothers, and we'll see you next time.